What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Oh, what could it be that's hiding in here for me? What's in the box? What's in the box? Is this some model kit or what's in here for me? What's in the box? What's in the box? How hard is it to put together? Is it made of leather? Hey, what's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Today's episode of What's in the Box was filmed right here at Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. And welcome back to another episode of What's in the Box. And this time we're looking at AMT's new release of the 23 Ford Model T delivery van. Now, what's cool about this one is it's a Coca-Cola edition. So if you're a big collector of Coca-Cola, this is a model for you. And what's cool too is this box art shows you like the general store and how they sold Coke back in the day. And Coca-Cola was everywhere. And what's really cool is look at all the different Coke emblems you get. So you could actually do a bunch of these vans. And the different color schemes they had on them. Other than just straight red, which I think is more sort of a modern retro look at it. There's all the engine parts and stuff with Coke logo. So now I'm going to open the box. Now this is a current kit. I don't have any more in the store, but I can always get them in while quantities last. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> okay. If you got a QR code reader, just take a picture of that. Anyway, okay. All right, eh? Like, okay, eh? All right, eh? Now, there's the art without the thing in the way. That's pretty cool. You could actually make a store like that as a display diorama. Whoa, molded in red. Well, unless you have like an earlier edition of this kit, hey, this is interesting. There's a top down part in there. What did AMT put in here? A folded down top. That's something. Why would that be in the pickup? It's got nice detail to it. Did they throw in a tea bucket part in here? No, they didn't. So that's really bizarre. Well, anyway, there's a bonus feature for you. Uh, a different type of top. Boy, this looks like the same red plastic as the old kit that I have of this. That's busted up. Oh, it looks like they give you boxes for the Coke. Which is another new thing. Or maybe it's an old thing that they opened up the port to. Okay, let's look at this. 1923 Coca-Cola truck. Now, if you watched my previous video with this version, you'll note that the the car in here was, or the plastic was white, and this one's red. So, if uh, this is one of those fun things, if you wanted to build the white edition of your Coca-Cola truck, try to find this one and buy it, because the plastic in here is white. And if you try to paint over red with white, well, you get pink. Unless you undercoat it with something like black. Anyway, so the instructions are basically the same as in the other van. And they don't even show you those boxes there for the Coke. But I mean, boxes putting them together, that's straightforward. Now, what are we getting here? Oh, look at this. You get a diorama display of that actual photograph store for the Coke thing. That'd be interesting. I wonder if I should open this or not. <laughs> Now, let's see. What's in the box? What's in the box? 
What is in the box, Marty? <laughs> Marty! Okay. You get a little thing. Whoops. <laughs> okay, this tells you how it goes together. I think this is just a backdrop, backdrop support piece with instructions. Fold sides back 90, then glue this face to the back of the coke button, which I just dropped on the floor. Okay, look at that. That's pretty neat. Black and white. Oh, and there's the street in front. So that's basic. Okay, so this would go in there. And then you get like this kind of retro black and white photograph on your color with, of course, the big Coke logo. Oh, hey, let's check this out. Dun 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 the Coke lens cap. Hey, it actually fits my camera perfectly. Okay, anyway. I should just put that on the end of my my uh, camera. Okay, my knife. And it's open. There goes the Coke logo again. Alright, let's take a look at these decals. What's in the decals? The flu for you. Okay. Coca Cola 23 Ford. Look at that. Uh, I wonder what the message here is. Could it be uh, drink Coke? <laughs> These ones are cool. Like that too. Boy, how do you make this, eh? I know. Buy 10 of them. And then you can put them anywhere. Actually, what's kind of cool is you could use these. You could get some sheet styrene. And then make yourself a um, sandwich board. You know, like the sign sandwich board. And put this on both sides. And then display it with this old Coke thing here. In front of a store or something. That would be kind of a neat way to do it. As for these other ones, I mean, you can put them on vintage Cokes, wagons. Yeah. So lots of cool things. So if you did the white one, you could do it this way. Actually, if you look up Coca-Cola trucks, some of them were yellow and black in the old days. So very interesting. Do your research. We don't get any box bottom in this kit, unfortunately. But we get a new catalog saying what was available in 2016 for those of you watching this video five years from now. <laughs> there they throw, show the uh, Three Stooges and everything. Hey, which ones have they not brought out yet? No, I don't know. 77 Pacer coming out. I got an original version of that kit. And I got the 78 and the front fender is warped. Phone AMT for a new old body. Okay, so that is the Coca Cola Model T stand delivery or delivery truck. So look for it and Monster Hobbies bring it in again because it's current. So let me know if you want to order one and we will look forward to you visiting our store in the future. Have a good adventure in model building. Bye. Yeah, just in hindsight at the end of the Coke video here, you'll notice on the white here they got it cut off where that convertible top thing is. Isn't that interesting? So there you go. You learn something new every day. There used to be a convertible top there for some reason. wonder what else AMT made back in the day for this 23 Model T. That had that top. Anyway, you'll have to find that out through your research. Talk to you later. Bye.